fragrance should not come as a surprise on the declutter list because I've alluded to the fact that I was going to declutter this fragrance because I found an alternative that I prefer. Even though the alternative is more expensive, it's okay. This one is basically a citrus floral scent, especially when you first spray it and pretty much through the life of the fragrance. But as it dries down, there is a strong kind of like earthy woodiness to it that makes it a bit more mature and also just makes it a bit more sharp the longer that it lasts on the skin. I've mentioned several times that the note of cedar, every time I see it in a fragrance in the base, I'm always nervous because my skin picks that note up and really radiates it off my skin and I hate that <laughs> because it just smells too sharp, too masculine to me and that's what happens with this fragrance. It's still obviously a floral fragrance but on my skin as it dries down it just changes the way that i feel about it it doesn't stay as feminine or delicate or soft it becomes a bit sharper and more earthy so that's going to be chloe fleur de parfum now this fragrance is probably one of the last celebrity fragrances that i have in my collection and the only reason i'm getting rid of this one is because i've had this for so long that the smell of it it smells like it's turned bad like it almost smells mossy almost and i know and have because i've worn this fragrance for such a long time i know the scent profile of this fragrance and this smells like it's turned and so i definitely need to get another one but this is basically a very heavy white floral fragrance it's creamy it's soft it's one of those scents that every time I smell it, I naturally think of like brunch. Not necessarily like food, the aspect of food, but just like gathering around a table with friends or loved ones and having good times, laughter. It just smells like that to me. I really, really love this scent. And for a celebrity fragrance, it definitely is a gem. So I, I do have to pick up another one, but this one has definitely turned bad. So this is jessica simpson's fancy love the next celebrity scent is going to be ariana grande's cloud when i first got this scent i wore it so often which is why there is a dent hopefully you guys can see that um, i wore it so often because it just felt like a very cozy go to bed time type of scent and i still feel that way but I realize that I really don't like the scent profile like this kind of fluffy airy marshmallowy like sweetness I really don't like that scent profile and I think the reason that I was able to tolerate it when I wore it to bed is because I only had to tolerate it for a certain amount of time until I knocked out you know but when I tried to wear it during the daytime or try to go out with it, I just realized that this scent profile is really not my favorite at all. And so that is why I'm getting rid of this. So again, this is Ariana Grande's Cloud. All right, there's another celebrity fragrance. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> but this is Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black. And this one, I don't even know if I've really mentioned this one on my channel that much. Um, but this is basically a very prominent sandalwood fragrance. The issue that I have with this scent is the fact that it just almost smells, what's the best word that I can use to describe it? Like it almost smells like incomplete. I don't know how else to describe it, but it just, it's just sandalwood. So it's woody. It has a little bit of like a, creamy type of aspect to it but it smells almost like undone and that's why i don't really wear this at all i don't gravitate towards the scent whatsoever if i wear it it would be because i'm layering with other scents but there's just something about it even though the quality of the scent is phenomenal i feel like elizabeth and james those fragrances are beautiful in terms of the composition of the fragrance the way that they smell and last and project on the skin they're beautiful but the scent itself the scent profile just feels undone to me and it feels like one of those fragrances that i would have to use to layer with other scents it doesn't feel like a standalone fragrance not for me at least but if you like woody fragrances but not nothing sharp you want something that's a little bit 
softer creamier but still very prominent this is one that you should definitely try so again this is elizabeth and james nirvana black the next one is a fragrance that i kept in my collection for a long time simply because of the bottle i try very hard not to like hoard fragrances which is why if i don't like it for whatever reason I get rid of it. I don't keep it just because I want to show that I have a bunch of bottles. That's just more of a personal thing. Um, so for this fragrance, this is one of them that I honestly kept in my collection for a long time simply because of the bottle because it truly was not what I expected. The name of this fragrance is called Soleil, which is um, sun in French. And when I think of the sun, I do think of something that's warm, which this is, but this is almost like a warm spicy, like there's a spiciness that's there and I'm not sure why they went with like a spicy type of undertone, like a warm spicy undertone. It's not like a bright, like uh, refreshing, um, it's not one of those that just kind of like uplifts your mood. It actually smells more like a nighttime, you know, like late afternoon, nighttime type of scent. Granted, I think that you can transition from daytime to nighttime, just depending on the time of the year that you wear it, but it's more on the warm, spicy side in my personal opinion. And so that was not what I expected off the bat. And the more that I wear it, the more that, and I've mentioned this another, in another video, but it almost reminds me of like a diaper bag. Like it's almost like I can almost see and smell the baby wipes, <laughs> the, the diapers, like a pack of diapers. Like there's this powdery aspect to it and it just, Needless to say, this does not work for me. It does not work on my skin. It is not a scent profile that I enjoy and it is one that is going to be leaving my collection. But the bottle is stunning. This is so beautiful. Like I've even thought about dumping the fragrance out. I don't know if I can get this, this top off, but like dumping this fragrance out and just like filling it with another fragrance that I actually love because the bottle is stunning to me and it's just really a work of art and I just love it, but the fragrance inside is just not for me. So again, that is going to be La Lique Soleil. Now this one is a vanilla fragrance that many people have in their fragrance collection. This is another scent that I wore a lot for bedtime. And again, the more I wear it, the more I play with fragrances, the more I notice what notes I care for and what notes I don't care for. One of the notes that to me, I feel like just depending on how it's blended, um, it, it matters to me the way that the note itself is blended is the note of vanilla. And so for me, this almost smells like, like an orange sponge cake. I don't know why, but that's what it reminds me of in terms of the scent as well as like the texture of it. There's something about it that smells very kind of like light and fluffy, like most vanilla scents are presented. And it's, it's nice. It's a nice scent. It's a nice comforting scent. I love the fact that there's like a mandarin orange note in here, which I love mandarin in my fragrances but it just isn't a scent that I wear that often and it isn't a scent that I wear outside of just wearing it to bed. And to me, I'm just like, do I need a bunch of fragrances that I don't really care for um, just to wear to bed? Because I wear all of my fragrances to bed. It just depends on my mood. So this is one that to me just no longer serves a purpose in my collection and that's why I'm getting rid of it. But it's still a very nice, like orange creamsicle, orange sponge cake type of scent. That's what I get from it with, again, a lot of vanilla. The vanilla is kind of like light, fluffy, airy. And it also does give me or has a lot of reminiscence to 
Diptyque's Eau Dwell, which is another fragrance that's getting decluttered for my collection, but that's going to be in the part two of this video. But yes, Orchid Vini by Van Cleef & Arpels is going. Now this one is Swiss Arabian's Chagaf Oud, and this one is pretty much a dupe for Lancome's Oud Bouquet. The notes of this one, along with Lancome's Oud Bouquet, at least the original formulation, is the exact same. I had Lancome Oud Bouquet, the original formulation, and I did declutter that as well a while back. And I would say that the slight differences that I get between this one and Oud Bouquet is, I feel like Oud Bouquet was a little bit more dominant in the floral aspects of it. And this one, I feel like the Oud definitely stands out a lot more. And I think that's why, for the most part, I didn't really gravitate towards this scent because it's just like a strong, woody, earthy aspect to it. I don't really do well with a lot of woody notes because again, that's the note that my body chemistry clings onto and projects. And that always makes me feel very like masculine and I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> and so, with this one, the oud is definitely very prominent. You get the rose, you get kind of like the praline, but those are more in the background. The oud is definitely, the oud and saffron are definitely in the forefront of this fragrance. And those are two notes that I don't care too much for. But if you do love kind of like a very Middle Eastern type of um, fragrance, like that scent profile, and you don't wanna spend the money on Oud Bouquet, definitely pick this up because like I mentioned, the notes are quite similar. And if you love very strong woody notes and also just fragrances that smell a little bit more, I would say unisex, because this one definitely smells a bit more unisex than the original Oud Bouquet, then I would definitely tell you to pick this up. It's like a warm, spicy, woody scent with kind of like a sweetness and floral tones in the background. It's a really, really nice scent, but it's just, I barely ever wore it. And I actually found an alternative, which I've mentioned to you guys before, and that is Kayali's Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. They're pretty much in the same family, like fragrance family, but there are some added notes in that fragrance that makes me love the scent profile much more and it's also one that I wear way more. So again, that's going to be Swiss Arabian's Shagaf Oud. <laughs> 